Good morning everybody, or should I say good afternoon actually, it's just gone midday and today is going to be a really amazing afternoon because whilst at the moment I'm coming to you from the sunny village of Great Billing in Northamptonshire, this afternoon I'm going to be making my way into the West End and I'm going to the Sundown Theatre to go and see the opening night of Les Miserables in concert. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to be meeting up with Kaylee from an official London theatre. She's going to be on socials all day. Um, and, you know, I've honestly, I think I saw this play for the first time when I was about 12. Um, and I, I loved it then. And I think it's one of those things where if you are a theatre person, you kind of have to love Les Mis. Like, you can't not love Les Mis. The music's going to be incredible. Um, the, the, the lighting, I've always loved the costume um, and I'm just so excited to see it come back on stage and everybody's just going to be so enthusiastic and it's just going to be a lovely performance to watch. So really, really excited. I'm going to be taking you guys with me all day today. We're going to get the train together. Um, you're not going to be able to get rid of me. So I'm just going to show you what sort of things I have packed um, for my hashtag Let's Do London to go and see Les Miserables this evening. Um, I've packed my three masks. I have my purse. I have my charging pack. That's obviously for the phone. I've taken my glasses because sometimes I like to take my contacts out. This is all my kind of like bits and bobs. So I've got some hand sanitizer, some hand cream because we're always using hand sanitizer and it dries out your hands. I also have my um, book for the train. I think people will love my um, kind of little theatery bookmark that my gran bought me. I absolutely adore it. and you might have seen I've picked up my travel card. Now this ticket's great because um, as long as I don't lose it I need to keep it safe all day and um, it'll get me to and to and from London and also through travel zones one to six all around the city and um, so it gives me a chance to have a bit of an explore maybe go to some other places and um, before going to Leicester Square. As you can see I have arrived um, I've come off the main street to do a vlog but found this beautiful kind of wall mural which says home of world's longest running musical on it so I thought it was a perfect backdrop as you can see the journey here was so quiet I couldn't even get over how quiet all the trains were I'm just gonna go and have an explore now I think of like Piccadilly because I've got a couple of hours until the show starts just relax maybe have some food because I come to the theatre I know where it is I just went past the door and there's loads of like cars in the window in tracksuits and you know when you just want a fangirl and I wanted to wave but I didn't, I didn't do that. In Piccadilly Circus, um, I just had a uh, snack in Five Guys. Um, <laughs> quick and simple and easy. I wanted to give my myself time a bit more time to explore. Typical London. Um, it's just finished raining. The sky is beautifully blue. So I'm going to use this opportunity to have a walk down Regent Street, which is just over there.
Hayley's just messaged me to say she's nearly there. Um, so I'm literally running back now to go meet her. Hello, Kelly has arrived. Hi. Um, so we are going to make our way in in a bit. Uh, there's some like socially distanced queues out the front. It all looks very safe and grand. Oh, I can't get it. <laughs> and we're so excited, aren't we, Kelly? I am so excited. <laughs> when was the last time you were at the theatre? Oh, well, before the pandemic, I think. I haven't been since. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. And Kaylee looks beautiful. I've got a lovely date. I've got a fun fringy dress She's got on. a dress on. She <laughs> looks gorgeous. So we'll have to get some pictures as well. Way into the theatre. How easy was that, Kaylee? It was so easy, so quick mm. as well. Yeah, so quick. We did the NHS scan and then they, we also were asked to put on hand sanitizer when we came in. Yeah. Um, and it was all really socially distanced. Like we were coming down the stairs totally on our own, weren't we? Yeah, I think so. Um, we've taken our seats um, and there's a lot of leg room, isn't there? I'm really yeah. surprised by how much leg room there is. And um, the set just looks absolutely stunning. Like we're just really surprised with how much like barricade there is. So we're <laughs> super excited to see. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, honestly, how lovely is it to be to just be back in an auditorium again? I just like feel at home. Like this is the comfy yeah. seat. I am. Um, I just love it. Mm, yeah, this is where we belong. So. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. You know one of the things as well that I love about social distance performances is that you've got a spare seat to put all your stuff on. So I do. Oh my goodness, the atmosphere in there is absolutely incredible. When the lights came up, everybody just started clapping and they couldn't even start for five minutes because everybody was just so excited to be in the room. When it started, because it's a concert setup, they've obviously got all of their kind of mics and everything and they're singing directly out into the audience. So the sound is just so incredible and you can hear every single word. I'm so excited for the second half. I thought it was amazing. It was so nice just sitting in the theatre seats again. Like the lights went down, the applause was insane. It was just like goosebumps the whole first like, 10 minutes, every moment. And then I cried during I Dreamed a Dream. <laughs> we've just come back both to our seats and we've got our drink and we've got programs eat. We're so excited for the second half. I am ready to cry my eyes out.
the show is now finished. I do not want to go home. Me neither. Can we just like hang out here? I know, the rest yeah, we're just night. gonna stay here forever. <laughs> we're just spawning <just> <laughs> leaving. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was saying to Kaylee, like the hairs on the back of my neck do not work anymore. That's how like at the end I was honestly just I can hear you crying through that too. <laughs> and then in the quiet bits as well, you know when you're worried about like sniffing, I was like I was about to cry and I was like <laughs> and it was just really loud and hopefully my mask hit it. Honestly, the thing that I realised I missed throughout this was the, the sound quality was just so crisp. Wasn't I, it, I thought, honestly, that is the main thing I yeah. noticed as well. I've never thought about like the orchestra and the band in the show, but I really thought about it today and I was like, this sounds incredible. Mm, and I think it's because we've been listening to things on Bluetooth speakers now for so long, yeah. just in our rooms and stuff. And then, of course, you can see from here where the band was at, it was all live and everybody was singing straight out into the audience with these mics. And it was just absolutely beautiful. I can't even get over it. Yeah, it just sounded amazing. Oh, so honestly, just make sure you buy your ticket at Fort Les Miserables Concert at officiallondontheatre.com. You cannot miss this show. You cannot miss this right now. Get yourself into London um, and get yourself in a theatre and make sure you think, see things when they come back on stage. If you like this video today, uh, please give it a like down below. Uh, feel free to give us any kind of feedback on what you might want to see from Official London Theatre in future. And also um, make sure that you're subscribed to our page because there are going to be so many more videos coming like this soon. Um, all about all the opening nights and everything. It's going to be such an amazing time. Um, and make sure in all of your posts where you are visiting the theatre yourself, make sure that you post up online with the hashtag back on stage.